it comes to uh, traction control, uh, the car is uh, doesn't slip much. It's, it's uh, just uh, adjust to the the ice, the slip roads, and it just uh, gets the grip and it just uh, takes it from there. So it's not uh, don't feel like it overrules you in any way uh, more than it should because it's uh, so slippery and it's such icy roads so you're not able to accelerate any faster if it was a car without traction control you would just probably uh, spin a whole lot more than you do because you just barely spin at all on the in this car uh, it's in a video where um, they uh, took out the fuse the ABS fuse I think it is and you can actually uh, uh, do drifting with the car when you do that but that's not uh, recommended I see if I can put the a link to that video I found uh, in the description of this video so um, yeah so the traction control works fine um, it's uh, I never been stuck anywhere so far and it's been very icy up here in Norway and uh, very slippery and we had the water upon the ice again and that makes it fairly un impossible to drive on um, especially in high speed so if when it's like that on the road we tend to keep it somewhere around 40 to 50 kilometers an hour instead of 80 because if you try and do 80 you'll probably get the higher much higher risk of going off the road probably 100% certain you will go off the road so um, that's that for the traction control.